Hey guys, Aaron here with For the Love of Tech, doing another video for you, and it is, I'm in Florida, but it's freezing. Today I wanna to cover a few topics that are floating around in the media that are getting some attention, and some things I'm kinda of hearing, some buzz things, and I wanna make sure I'm sharing it with you guys, my subscribers. Sometimes people, the only information they get or the only time they hear about something is when they hear about it being delivered to their email. So let me go ahead and bring you a quick updates, a couple follow-ups on some videos I already did. First, Apple, they stepped up. They are now replacing any iPhone that you bring in with the battery issue. $30 is what they're going to charge you. I think that the criteria for it is that anything a six or a later with a battery issue that you bring in, they'll test it. If there's a problem, they'll replace it. If there's no problem, they'll replace it. Namaste. Apple, you stepped up, you did the right thing. Big thumbs up. Next, we're moving on to the CES, Consumer Technology Convention Conference that's going on this month. It's huge, it's a big event, it's a stage for all sorts of new technology to launch, not just for consumers, but for businesses. The YouTubers are gonna go crazy on it. I would love to be there, but I'm not gonna be there, but we have hopes of going next year, better planning. Um, there are some rumors that maybe Samsung will launch the Galaxy S9 here, and that, would mean we may have a February, March, early April launch date for the S9. My personal belief, they're not going to launch it at the CES. Samsung is going to want center stage. They don't want to share the camera or the mic with anyone. They did an amazing launch for the Note 8. I think whatever they end up doing is going to be very comparable. I don't think we're going to see a new phone that phone the s9 s9 plus out of samsung this month fingers crossed it's coming soon don't worry as soon as i get some information i will launch it out all right now i told you the s9 is coming let's talk a little bit about what's going to be in the s9 again let's whip our snapdragons out and measure them because we got to make sure my snapdragon's bigger than your snapdragon this one is going to have i believe it was an 835 let me confirm 845 i can't even keep track these snapdragons are moving at the speed of snapdragon <laughs> crack myself up oh, snapdragon moving at the speed of a snapdragon anywho the fingerprint scanner sensor reader whatever you want to call it is no longer going to be next to the camera it's not going to be between the heart rate sensor and the camera it's going to be below the cam look here's the camera cluster all of the sensors here's the fingerprint scanner that's where it's going to go it's no longer going to be here or there or in there it's going to be down here which is where it should have always been so good job samsung it's going to maintain the beautiful infinity display which we saw the galaxy 8 we also saw that on the note 8 it's even rumored to have less bezels picture this less bezels and even more screen to body ratio we can only hope good job samsung great phone great device i'm really looking forward to getting my hands on it and reviewing it maybe even giving one away is this a giveaway i hear that's in the works might be all right let's take a quick moment and talk about a piece of technology that was announced june of 2017 and it's january 2018 and we still don't have it why would apple announce the home pod the apple home pod if it wasn't ready to sell it i'm starting to wonder if they even had one made like are they announcing and trying to push things that don't exist yet you think apple would do that hmm. <laughs> do 
you think they would? Anyways, it's not out yet. It's supposed to be out. I wanted one. For right now, I'm terribly happy, extremely happy with my Google Home. I've got one in the bedroom. I have one in two of my offices at work. I have the Google Mini. It works amazing. I have no need for the Apple Home Pod. I want the Apple Home Pod. I think that uh, it it's supposed to sound amazing. Three hundred and fifty dollar price tag. It better sound amazing. I hope they're taking this extra time to make it sound extra better. Amazon is also competing with the assistant. HomePod space, right? We've got the Amazon Echo. It's got the Alexa built in. We've got the Dot. And now we've got the Show. Now over where I am in Florida, we got the International Mall over in Tampa. And they have the screen and that's, that's the Show. So it's a smart assistant with a screen. I think they're onto something. I feel like the future is catching up to back to the future. You know, I really think it is. Does anybody want a hoverboard? Me. True story for Christmas, I wrote to Santa and I asked for a hoverboard. <laughs> I never got one, but I wanted a hoverboard so bad. Raise your hand if you wanted a hoverboard. OnePlus 5T is about to get a software update. It is, uh, I believe they call it the Oxygen OS. They are uh, layering it on top of the uh, the stock Android, which is, you know, they all do it. They all have their own launchers. Everyone but Google. Google Pixel doesn't layer anything on top of Android because they think Android is fine the way it is. And so do I. Um, so that is coming up. That will be super cool really soon. Keep your eye out for that. If you're a OnePlus user, you will get those uh, OTAs over the air updates directly to your phone. So keep a lookout for that. All right, the last thing I wanna talk about and I want to plead to the manufacturers, please. I'm talking, I'm talking to Android, I'm talking to LG, now I'm talking to Michael Kors, I'm talking to Samsung, talking to Motorola. Can we please start to get on a cycle with new wearable technology? I love smart watches. I love the wearable Android OS. I love it. See this, this is this is the Samsung one, right? The the Two top features of this. One, LTE, boom, I love it. Not gonna change. Two, the battery life on it. I will get two full days use out of this. I will go to bed at night. Where are we at here? Look at this. We're, we're at seven, can, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that, guys. Anyways, I'm gonna tell you we're at 78% and I put it on this morning. This is amazing. LTE, amazing battery life. Somebody please figure out a way to slap Android wearable operating on this. Please do it. I want to have Android on this watch with this battery life and this LTE. That's what I'm waiting for. Had in the LG, it was horrible. I took it back three days later. That was it, done deal. Take it back. Horrible battery life. I can't get through one full day. If I can't get through a full day using a smart device on my wrist, my watch or my Apple watch, then I don't need it. So this is my plea to the manufacturers. Please get on a cycle of updating your wearables at least once a year. You put out a new phone, put out a new wearable. Maybe if you worked as hard on the phones, sorry, as hard on the wearables as you do on the phones, people would buy more of them. The last thing I want to talk about is people jumping on my live broadcast when I'm doing my giveaways, letting me call out names, looking for people to win, and then people are creating fake accounts. So the way it works, in order for you to claim your giveaway from me, you have to message me and communicate with me 
via the same source that you entered the giveaway. If it's YouTube, you gotta contact me on YouTube and you gotta have the same exact YouTube name. If it's Twitter, you gotta have the same Twitter name. If it's on Facebook, you gotta have, obviously it's your Facebook name, it's who you are, I don't know if it's you or not. You know, so I can tell if you're real and if you're fake, someone tried to dupe me out of a set of Apple AirPods. Big shout out to the guy who was super cool and worked with me and sent me this screenshot that said, hey Aaron, here's the real guy, here's the fake guy. Totally spelled it out for me, opened up my eyes, didn't realize this was even a thing. Shame on you, internet. Thank you for stepping up and protecting me and the channel and the integrity of the giveaway. I appreciate it. We have more giveaways coming in the future. This is my first 2018 video. This is what I'm gonna do. Well, actually, I guess the live was the first 2018 video. In anticipation of the next giveaway. What's the giveaway gonna be here? What's the giveaway gonna be? What's the giveaway gonna be? I don't know what the giveaway is! But what I want you to do is comment on this video, Roman numerals, 920 dash then you tell me what you would love to see in the giveaway give me idea give me ideas what you want to see in the giveaway what i will do is i will keep the comments open well qualifying on this video i won't close the comments from the time of launch for seven days you have to comment roman numerals 920 dash and a suggestion i give away there we go, we're starting early, we're building content. Next, I got a couple cool little gadgets I got for Christmas. I'm gonna give away some. I'm not giving away anything yet. I'm gonna do some cool unboxings. And that's how we're gonna leave it. Thank you guys for the love attack. I appreciate the subscribers, the comments, the likes, everything.